Hey Leo, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general weekly reading for the 15th through the 21st. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. I do have personals open. They are $25. You could also check me out on Patreon if you'd like. That information is down below, okay? Um, I offer additional content over there for each sign. I do have a tarot course open right now, Leo, as well. Um, for those of you who are interested in learning the tarot, that information's down there, and you can access that forever, okay? All of the uh, content is available forever, and I do answer all questions. So, yeah, Leo, yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's get into it here. You have the uh, Justice card as your overall energy. You got two court cards plus the Emperor out here, so I'm curious about who these people are. I also feel like there could be something that's kind of in the background or hidden to you, like there's something in the dark here. You know, you got the devil. That could just be darkness itself. That could be some kind of toxicity. Uh, but I do feel intuitively like there's something that's just in the dark, you know? Um, like the full, like the extent of the truth, I feel, is kind of held back in this darkness. So we'll figure out what's going on. You got the Queen of Cups as your first card out. Cancerian energy. So let's see who that is and what it's about. Justice is your fur is your overall energy here. So what's going on with the Queen of Cups? I feel intuitively like you get a truth here, Leo, and you kind of examine it like, mm, I don't know. Ace of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else is happening here with this? Another court card. King of Pentacles and the Will of Fortune. I feel like you're cashing a check here, and I think that it could be for something legal. Uh, I feel like this king, this Queen of Cups, I like the Queen of Cups. Not a bad card at all, but I feel like there's somebody here expressing something to you because they want something out of you. Like, I feel like there's someone here trying to butter you up, Leo, so I would be careful with that, all right? What else is going on with that? Because I feel like you're cashing a check or you're getting a big payout here. And, you know, that Queen of Cups, I do feel you're, like, looking at the cup, like, hmm. You know, because the Justice card, I feel like somebody's expressing some kind of truth to you, but it feels like they're being too open or it feels like they're being, how do I put this here? They're putting in more effort than usual, you know? And this doesn't feel like it's, like, a romantic partner or something. This feels like this could be a family member or something, Leo, who knows you're getting money, you know? It's, it could be something like that, right? I also feel that for some of you, there could be somebody you're committed to who's, changing you know i feel like the, i don't think that their emotions are changing but i do think their actions are changing and that could change your emotions okay so i think that there needs to be a talk about this here because if that part's for you then you're going to know and you could be binded to them um through marriage all right you got the will of fortune you got the king of pentacles justice um what's happening with that the moon yeah and you know i almost feel like I almost feel like you haven't even been able to see this. You may see it now, but, you know, I feel as if you don't see what's coming of it, if that makes sense, you know? So it's almost like you, you look back and you, you realize that things have changed, you know, when you're looking back. But, you know, it's like, it's like tomorrow is not going to be much different from yesterday, but you have enough tomorrows and everything is nothing's the same you know so that's the kind of energy that i feel you in there's a quote that says something like that and i can't think of the words like i can't but i, I hope i expressed it clearly um but yeah there, there's something yeah the hermit could involve a virgo here or the pisces cancer i'll put it this way you have a gut feeling you're like something is different and it's this person. It's this person here. Um, so, yeah, I think something big is going on and you're not really seeing it at this point in time. But you just have a feeling, you know. I think there needs to be a conversation with this person you're with. For those of you who are committed or married and you just feel like something's off, I would check in with your partner here and just see what's up. You know, they could have been going through something here that wasn't really acknowledged. There could have been some responsibilities that got in the way of this. There could have been some trauma the two of you, um, you know, had together or had experienced together. And the both of you took it in different directions. It could be a lot of different things here, Leo. You know, maybe you handled something. Maybe you handled the same thing differently and it took you down two different paths, right? Because that can happen sometimes, you know. Um, maybe you both lost someone in your life and they took, they took one path and it changed them. And you took another path and healing and it changed you, right? Could be something like that, for example, but I think that uh, someone's struggle went unnoticed here and it has caused some 
bitterness, some, uh, some tension is in the air here, Leo, and you can feel something's wrong, but you can't quite see what it is. So yeah, I think something big is going on with a partner here and it needs to be discussed, all right? You have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm not saying that things are going to end between the two of you, but I think that it could head in a direction where you don't realize how you got here, you know? Somebody could have Mercury in Virgo with that Ten of Pentacles. What's going on with that? Queen of Cups, all right? So this could definitely have something to do with an offer that you're receiving for some of you here. What's going on with that Queen of Cups? You don't trust an offer. Like, you feel like it's too good to be true. The Chariot. It could have something to do with a move. Or you could do something with driving. Or you could have to travel for a living. Um, what else is happening here? Five of Wands. Could have been some competition, and that's why you may feel like... You know, say, for example, you're picked out of a lot of people and you're like, no way. I didn't even think I was qualified, right? It could be something like that here. Um, yeah, Seven of Cups, you felt like of all the options, you know, I'm being chosen here. What else is happening with that? The lovers, yeah, there's a significant turning point within money or career here for somebody. Um, we've got Gemini energy as well as Cancer. I feel like it could involve travel. If it's not travel, it's just like you moving up. Or there could be like a pay raise that you didn't really expect to take place at this time. You're like, you know, I thought... You know, I thought we had no budget, or I thought, right? I, you know, it's just something like that here where there's some confusion surrounding something that you're receiving. Um, but it's a good thing, though, that you're receiving here. We got the devil, Capricorn energy. What's going on with the devil for Leo? Ten of Cups. Hmm. What else? The Emperor. We have the Emperor twice now. Uh, Aries energy. Leah, make sure you're in a space where you're actually enjoying things, okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I feel like you could be in a space where you're just waiting on, you know, you could be in a space where you're waiting on tomorrow. You're like, wow, I can't wait for this to happen. I can't wait for that to happen. I don't feel like you're in a space where you're just enjoying the moment. I feel like the future is kind of robbing you. And, you know, sometimes we get like that because we live in a 3D world and we're just so worried and we want this date to hit. So, you know, this bill could be paid and out of the way or whatever the case may be, right? Um, you want something to just be done and over with, basically. So I almost feel like you're wishing your moments away here. Um, and it could involve a masculine energy. could involve an Aries, Virgo, or a Capricorn. It doesn't have to. It could just involve family, maybe something with children, right? you got the Ten of Cups here. I can't wait till they start school or something like that. You know, I feel like you are in a space where you're not really enjoying the present, basically. So I feel like they are asking you to enjoy the present here. You know, that emperor, like, and the devil, I truly feel like you're kind of blocking your happiness. That emperor is, like, head over heart. Like, got to get this done, you know. Um, got to be on this schedule. Got to be consistent, you know. And, yeah, consistency is important, but I feel like they're asking you to have fun. I feel like they're asking you to be present, um, to not let the future rob you, not let the past rob you. Just be present in the moment and reach for something really good here, Leo. Like, there's something there. There's something, I'm telling you. Okay, you got the Six of Swords, Mercury and Aquarius. What's going on with that Six of Swords? Temperance. Sag energy. You're on the path to healing from something here. I don't know what it is exactly. The world could have been a divorce or like something ended here, okay, for sure. Uh, the world is completion. Um, you have the four of wands here. Definitely, definitely could have been a marriage. Um, that's a foundation of some sort. It could have just been a commitment, of course, but the world could be a contract. You know, you could be having some kind of anxiety over a move that you're making, um, for sure. Could have just signed a contract, a lease, um, right? a deed, something of that nature here. You have um, the temperance card. You have the world. You have the uh, four of wands. You know, that six of swords is a move. Four of wands can be commitment, the home, the world, a contract, right? Completion, stepping out of one chapter into another. Temperance, I mean, honestly, that could be, you could be moving kind of far from where you are. And, you know, if it's not a physical move, I do feel like you are just out of your comfort zone. And it's just, it's a weird feeling here, right? What else is happening with this? The King of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Some of you could be dating for the first time in a while. That could be what's going on for a small portion of you as well. Could be dating for the first time in a long time. Somebody here might have their moon in Taurus or their moon in Libra. And you could be involved with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. But yeah, Leo, I feel like you're on the path to healing here for the most part, okay? If you are involved with someone new, I feel like it's just unfamiliar to you. There could be a little bit of anxiety involved here. But I feel like the chemistry is really good. I think that things are flowing naturally, unfolding naturally between you and this person and you could have you could be you know off the dating scene for so long that you're really not sure you're like is this going well I don't know if this is going well <laughs> you know that's the kind of vibe that I feel you in so I feel like you've kind of been out of practice a little bit but that king of cups 
you know, and I also feel is like spiritual development, whatever this ending was here, like I feel like you took a huge leap of faith. You made a huge move here and you were in a space where you're able to say, wow, I was really nervous about this at first, you know, six of, or six of pentacles. I was really nervous when I invested in this. I was really nervous when I made this decision. Didn't know if it was going to work out, but it has made me stronger. Uh, you know, it's made, it's allowed me to trust my intuition more because this turned out really well. It turned out to be what I wanted. Okay. Got the Knight of Wands next. Sag energy. What's going on with this Knight of Wands for my Leo people? Okay. We have the Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Somebody here could have their moon in Cancer. I feel like you're stepping into more adventure as well, you know. Four of Cups, I feel you could be a person who's been at their roots for a lot of their life. You know, you've been kind of close to home for, for a long time, right? You could be in a space where you want more adventure. You could be reaching out to people, planning trips, or someone's reaching out to you, planning a trip. Definitely go. This could be a Pisces. Um, somebody may have Mercury in Virgo here. You could um, be in a space where, you know, you may have to, um, you may feel like you need to save financially or something of that nature. I honestly feel, you know, with the hangman being here, you need to su surrender to that. For those of you where you know good and well, oh, I'm so sorry, where you know good and well that you've got the money to do this and be fine, or you know good and well that you have the time to plan and you're just denying yourself this adventure, this trip, I think they're asking you to surrender to that. It's like you know you need to have more fun and the perfect opportunity to do that comes in here, you know? And I know a lot of people will call Leos, you know, like the life of the party and, you know, fire signs are always having all this fun and adventure, but you have so many different signs that make up your chart, you know, that could cause you to want to be a homebody. And really those are just your default settings, you know, um, <laughs> that, that's how I feel about it anyways. Those are just your default settings. You're not glued to those traits, right? They're down in there somewhere and you can turn them on, but you can also uh, turn them off. So yeah, anyways, Leo, I think that you could be one of those that are, um, uh, maybe a homebody or you're just really, I need to take care of my responsibilities, right? That kind of vibe. But I think you're getting an opportunity to have fun or to plan for some fun. You have the emperor here, Aries energy. I think a friend may want to plan a trip with you or maybe a family member. You have the uh, hair font here. You have the seven of swords. Um, somebody can have their moon in Aquarius. I think some of you may have an Aries coming in for you or a Capricorn, okay? What else is happening? For those of you who are single, the Magician, got Virgo, got Gemini. Um, yeah, I think there's something here that you really want and you could be in a space where you are feeling like, well, that's not it because this, this, and this. You could be in a space where you're kind of picking it apart and I feel like there's fear there, Leo. I really do. I feel like there's fear surrounding this. You're like, you know what? I'm trying to manifest love, but this person here... You know, I'm not sure if they're genuine. I'm not sure if they're this. I'm not sure if they're that. And I think that they are, you know, I feel like you're in a space where you're looking for problems. Like you're looking for something to be wrong with this person, Leo, and you need to chill out with that. I feel like you're picking them apart. You're overanalyzing them, you know, so that's something you want to be mindful of because look at that. We got counterparts here. <laughs> You're like, who is it for me? And it's like, it's them. It's them, but you're picking them apart because you're just feeling like it can't be here yet or it can't be true, right? So the emperor, again, head over heart energy, like, well, not while I have all these responsibilities, not while I have this. It should have come in at this time and it should have come in at that time and it should look like this and it should feel like this. And, you know, it's letting go of those expectations, dropping those. Um, is what's going to allow you to enjoy this in full and watch it unfold. The Seven of Swords is deception, and I do feel like you could be in a space where you're, one, either looking for deception, or two, tricking yourself out of this, like deceiving yourself in this situation. So, yeah, I feel like it's really both of those. You're looking for something to be off or wrong or um, a lie, and in doing that, you are tricking yourself out of something that you have been actually trying to manifest, something that you actually want that would be stable, somebody that you could even go on to marry. And if you're not into marriage, of course, you could just have a long-term commitment with them and commit or and um, you know live with them or something of that nature, right? So yeah, Leo, um, a lot going on here, a lot. Um, so yeah, it's kind of specific. If you want to watch out for your other signs, um, of course, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, you could also check me out on Patreon if you'd like. I offer additional content over there, just saw 1414. And I do have the personals open as well as the tarot course. All the details are in the description box. If this is where we part, Leo, thank you for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy your week. Bye.